Hello and welcome to the M7 Innovation Brief. I'm your host, Matt Marr, coming to you from the Retail Innovation Conference in Chicago, one of my favorite events on the circuit. I'll be giving a keynote on the evolving internet, Web3, Metaverse, AI, all that good stuff, and also be the track lead for the new playbook for digital growth. But before I hit the stage, it's early. Let's talk about the latest in media, tech, and innovation, the stories you need to know about. 90 seconds on the clock, let's go. Let's talk Apple and identity. Hidden in a press release after Apple's conference was a feature where your ID can be linked to your Apple wallet. I cannot understate how big of a feature this is. Go throw out your license, your passport. Actually, don't do that just yet, but that could be Apple's plan. Apple always explains these groundbreaking features with purposely myopic use cases. This one being high school Johnny won't be able to score beer at the local bodega when the cashier asks him to tap his Apple ID to the kiosk. Don't be fooled by Apple pretending to build a feature to thwart teenage hijinks. This is a Trojan horse into having all of our data, digital goods, tickets, and entire identity wrapped up in our Apple ID and verified via the iPhone. Reddit is going through a crisis. Due to backlash from recent API changes, 92% of subreddits have gone dark in what is known as the Reddit blackout. Out of the 7,800 subreddits that exist, 7,200 have gone private, meaning people cannot access them without permission from the moderators. So what happened with the APIs? Put simply, to generate more revenue for a potential IPO, Reddit made it expensive to incorporate third-party apps, which many communities use and understandably aren't happy about. So the blackout hopes to stagnate Reddit's growth until they undo the API changes. This one's fascinating. Over 90% of their communities, the lifeblood of Reddit, are locked. This affects advertisers, it affects general users, and it definitely affects Reddit's bottom line. My guess, Reddit will acquiesce. In certain cases, ChatGPT needs to stop talking. OpenAI is being hit with a defamation lawsuit after spreading misinformation about Georgia radio host Mark Walters. ChatGPT misreported that Walters had embezzled funds from a nonprofit organization. In a technical term, this is called an AI hallucination where ChatGPT gave an incorrect response that isn't sourced. This is a milestone as the first official defamation suit against OpenAI despite the numerous complaints of misinformation. This is just the beginning of a multitude of lawsuits against AI tools. Well, that's all the time that we have for the M7 Innovation Brief. Thank you for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you next week.